Hello to all you Canon XF400 loving diehards. The camera is getting a little long in the tooth by now, but it still does the job. Originally I got the camcorder with the intent of using it for wildlife. That and the Panasonic HCX2000. Why do I love camcorders? Because camcorders can be turned on, adjusted and focused much faster than any video shooting SLR style cameras and they're ergonomically correct. They are much more run and gun for the wildlife I like to shoot. Lately, I've become interested in the XF400 C-Log3 Rec 709 and the other Canon presets in the camera and getting the best color in post. I use DaVinci Resolve that has great film look LUTs and the color transform space settings. So I have been experimenting. I am in no way, shape or form an expert on this topic but I have noticed that there isn't any good videos on C-Log3 coming out of the XF400. That and being relatively new to color grading, I thought it would make a video out of my efforts and see if there are any others that can offer advice. The XF400 C-Log3 is only available in Rec. 709 color space out of the camera, but it is plenty good enough for e experimentation and learning. I particularly like this shot, as with a few adjustments and the correct LUTs, the whites are not blown out even on a bright sunny day. By the way, I do use LUTs with other presets, not just with C-Log3. Not sure if this is best practice, but I find it interesting to do even if LUTs were meant for log footage only. I am looking for feedback, especially from people who have used or are using the FX400. I still use the XF400 because I am not that person who needs to have the latest and greatest camera, but I do plan on buying an Ace Pro 2 this winter because it also shoots in log, which should make it easier to match footage on my XF400. Unfortunately, camcorders are not as popular as they once were, but for the style of shooting I do, a camcorder is quicker and easier to set up. I like the removable handle, which makes it extremely portable and easy to travel with. You get all the functionality you could want and not worry about which lens you should have brought. One of my goals of making this video is to show what I am doing with the XF400 and hopefully get some feedback from other XF400 users. Please let me know what you think by leaving a comment. 